Welcome to the Adhocracy Show. On today's show, an Instagrammer you should follow. Arts and Crafts Day. And we tried the five day drawing challenge. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm JD Melville. And I'm David Landin. And welcome to the Adhocracy Show, celebrating advertising, marketing, art, and design. And on today's episode, we are going to be discussing art. But first, wait, if you're here for the first time... Oh, welcome. Welcome. We forget to welcome our, our, our new viewers. Thanks for coming in. Uh, make sure you click that little subscribe button down below. That'll let you know that we have a new episode every Monday. And also, it helps us know how many people love us, because we need that in our life. <laughs> we do. Well, we, we don't have very big egos yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, but yeah, like like you were saying, um, we we are going to be talking about drawing. We're going to do a five day drawing challenge. But first, we're going to talk about an Instagrammer you should follow. Um, so this Instagrammer, um, I f found him just kind of scrolling through. Uh, his Instagrammer is R U, the letter U, my Uber. Um, this is his name is Andrew, and he's a photographer. Um, in L A. In L A. Yeah, and. Uh, he has a very interesting one because he is a photographer. Um, photographers, you know, they have a passion for taking photos. They um, also have a passion for being poor. <laughs> well, so, some of their passion projects, the things they really want to take pictures of, sometimes don't foot the bill, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and in, in his uh, Uber feature, um, he kind of goes in and talks about uh, what why he's doing what he's doing and, and why Uber and... Um, but basically, if you if you scroll through here, we'll just scroll through a couple so of these. So he's also he's a photographer and he's an Uber driver. Yeah. So he picked up Uber um, as a way to pay for Like he, a friend said, hey, be an Uber driver and then that'll pay for, you know, when, when you find a real job. <laughs> as all artists have heard yes, before. <laughs> yeah. Find a real job. Um, for but, more information on this, check out our video <laughs> called... Uh, things you should never say to creatives. Yeah, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. No. Um, also, this is an interesting thing that he's doing because he picked up being an Uber driver, which actually helped him with his photography career. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a and whole, so like, so he's he's life. sort of melded those two things together, and uh, he drives people around for Uber, but he. He'll, he'll have them take a picture and he'll share their story. And, and it's really fun because not only are the, the pictures fun um, to see because you see a wide range of people and at least a, a range of people who use Uber. Yeah, so it's a wide range of millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. There are some different people in there. Yeah. But, but you get these um, wonderful little stories. You get the, the, in the description, he includes stuff that they talked about, things that were hard or meaningful or where they're going or what they're doing. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's just a fun little thing. I mean, looking at people is just, yeah. So he takes their picture and then the, the, the description of that picture is their story. So it's very similar. If you've heard of people of New York, mm. this is kind of like people of Uber LA. No, <laughs> of Uber LA. But yeah, there's, there's some great stuff that, um, that's a cool one. Yeah. I mean, just, I, so, sometimes people are some of the most interesting pictures for me. Um, you get a snapshot of that one moment and, and then you really don't know anything about them, but then it's, but you look at all these pictures, as you scroll down, look at all these pictures, the diversity and how all the different people that he's met kind of shows you the, like it's LA. I mean, <laughs> LA is probably one of the craziest, like they need to sell tickets to LA. <laughs> I like, just to live there. Or you could just look at this, like all these great photos and the, the stories that accompany them. That's the, that, I think that's one of the things that re really takes this an extra step is that there are these stories that go along with them that are just fun to, fun to read, fun to get a, a piece of someone else's life. Um, so again, uh, this is Andrew. His uh, Instagram is are you my Uber? You as in the letter U. And we reached out to him, and he gave us permission to feature him. And thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And keep keep up the good work. Or maybe it, this is the end of your project. Yeah, if we're ever in LA, then uh, maybe you'll do a picture of us. Yeah, maybe we'll go. We'll we'll just switch to until we find an Andrew looking dude. There you go. So that was an Instagrammer you should follow. Well. Um, art. 
Art is something that... What is art? No, I'm just... That's exactly how we need to... <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a whole different episode. No. Um, art is... Is it something that is inherently here, or is it something that's learned? Now, we discussed this a little bit in the Prehocracy show, where we talk about our history of art, and here's a clip. Um, that I took outside of, like, school art class okay. and things like that mm -hmm. was... Um, I, I started mm -hmm. with watercolor. I see. Yeah. But no matter whether it's learned or you're born with it, you still need to practice. Mm -hmm. And yeah, one of the things we we mentioned in the in the pre-show, um, I I have had a lot of art experience, and there are a lot of people who are talented who have a knack for art, but um, you're you can only rely on that so much. I've seen people who have no art experience just go to the stars because they have done such an amazing job of practicing, trying, experimenting, things like that. And so uh, the other day I was on lynda.com, which is a great resource if you want to learn new skills, not a sponsor. Um, and I yeah. found a course by uh, Von Glitschka, who is a logo artist. He's a, yeah, he's a graphic designer. He's done a lot of great work. Um, when I was in Chicago for a, a conference, he gave a, a talk on copywriting and or on like copywriting your work. And this is this course is called the Five Day Drawing Challenge: Communicating Through Drawing. And we are going to do this challenge this week. Yeah. So it's five days, and every day you do a new drawing challenge. And there's certain rules, and then at the end of the day, you you know share it with somebody, or you share it, and and then you the next day you do another one, and you do this for five days. So tomorrow we're going to do our first drawing challenge and we'll explain how this is going to work at the end of the episode, so stay tuned. But we're going to go over the rules for these challenge. Yeah, so rule number one is, is one challenge per day. Yeah. Um, you're, you're going to draw one, you do it in a day. If you need a little more time, it's okay, but don't try to like pack them all in or don't try to like take a day, draw this, think about it. Yeah, and use the full day. Um, you know, don't just do it in like an hour. Like, really work on this. You have an entire day to do this, so use that. The Mona Lisa wasn't painted in one day. None of those pieces were painted in. Some of those were painted over 40 years. But this isn't the 40 year challenge. This no, this is, this is a five the, day challenge. So, so, so take, one, one a day. So take the full day. You don't have to take 40 years, it's okay. Um, number two is don't skip ahead. So, like we said before, don't pack these all into one day and try not to skip ahead. Try not to focus on the next one until the next day and we'll be helping you out with this by you know only telling you about one per day but just focus on the one for that day and get that finished and do the best you can and then the next day you can focus on the next one yeah the next the next thing to remember is um do it analog or digital um, do kind of what works for you um Analog sometimes is easier, and it's uh, depending on the medium you're using, you can kind of erase and change, and you can do that in the digital thing um, with the tablet or whatever. Digital's forever. <laughs> but but choose what you're most comfortable with. Go go with what you feel is right. The <laughs> are you gonna do analog or digital? Um, analog. Yeah. I I have I have a tablet now, but hey, save, I, save a tree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should try it digital. Maybe maybe that will be my challenge. Ooh, is actually you do, have, you do have a Wacom tablet. I don't do you? now. Yeah, Ooh. I have one I can use. That'll that'll handicap you so that I can actually keep up. No, this is not a competition. Um, it's a competition. Just kidding. Well, so. I know. I'm saying it's, it, there's no way this is a competition because there is no competition here. Um, next one is actually I think is probably for me the most important, and it is share your drawings with others. Um, I think that can be a really hard thing, especially if you're new in art, that you feel like it's not perfect, it's not as good as theirs, I don't want to share it, I don't want to put it out there. It's a tough thing to do, but um, share it. We're going to be sharing our art with you. Um, you're welcome to post up on, on Instagram, and we'll have a hashtag that you can use. And, and so share it. Share it with others. It's going to force you to finish it. It's going to force you to like confront your talent. <laughs> confront your talent. <laughs> and and you'll, in the end, I think it'll be a good thing to share it with others. Hey, you talent, get back here. Um, the, next, the next thing to remember is have fun. Have fun with it. It's drawing. It's having fun. 
you know, make it's drawing. It's having fun. It's <laughs> it's using your imagination, and it's something that you might not be doing. It might be your job all day to do that, but right. it's something completely unrelated to what you're doing. And I feel like that should like go on a poster. It's drawing. It's having fun. Let's make a poster of that. It'll be the next poster right here. It's drawing. It's, it's having, having fun. fun. <laughs> and you know what? Be like that first grader, okay? When the teacher asks a first grader class, who's good at drawing, every single kid raises their hand because they are, and you are too. And have fun with it, okay? This is a fun drawing challenge. Like, we're not going to focus on the challenge part. We're going to focus on the fun part. Yeah, and the last point, of course, um, that Von Glitschke points out is do it again. Do it over again. Yeah. Maybe you've done this already. Maybe you've gone through this course on Linda. Um, do it again with us. Yeah, keep, try it over and over again. I mean, try new things. You're going to get better. You're going to try new things. You're going to try it digital. Yeah, I'm going to try it digital. We're going to see how that works out. Yeah. So, this is the way it's going to work. Tomorrow morning, um, we're going to. On our social media, we're going to post what the challenge is. And we're going to post any information you need to know. And then we'll, ha and we'll also post, you know, any, like, the hashtag or, you know, how it's going to work. Um, but we're going to have the challenge on our social media in the morning. And then in the evening, you'll find our drawings that we have finished on Instagram and Facebook and, and Twitter. You'll be able to see what we did. And then you can also share what you did with us. And I think for this, we're going to have uh, the hashtag adhocracy five day challenge or five day art. Drawing. Five day drawing. Okay, that'll be, that's right here. Adhocracy five day drawing. It's going to be one of those things where it shows up the opposite way. That would be hilarious. Probably will. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so we look forward to seeing your drawings. We look forward to see how you, what you think of our drawings. Um, and yeah, it's drawing. It's supposed to be fun. Have fun with it. I know we will. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to our videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, especially this week, because that's where all the information is going to be and where our drawings are going to be. Make sure you also go back and check out uh, Are You My Uber, the Instagrammer that we highlighted earlier today. And for the made up fact of the day, if you subscribe right there to this video, then you will suddenly gain amazing talent and natural art drawing skills that you will not even need to practice because you're going to be that good. And that was JD's interpretive dance of it. Thank you. And then somebody else who has the natural talent, um, to throw something together and it's superior to what you've worked on really hard 